Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here and friends. As you know, we have been looking at the genomics watch list and I have been trying to make a video every day with something worthwhile. Of late, I have not been finding much worthwhile. The last two um, stock of uh, items that I had to talk about were with regard to CRISPR therapeutics and Bluebird Bio because of their impending exacel and lower cell uh, approvals. Uh, but I think I have exhausted the topic completely. And when I make a video, I want it to mean something. And uh, therefore, today, uh, I have decided to talk about Vertex because Vertex is also in the verge of another breakthrough for type 1 diabetes. And uh, also, Vertex has consolidated its hold on uh, type 1 di diabetes-related therapy by taking over Viasite, which had a collaboration with CRISPR therapeutics. And it also has a collaboration, uh, uh, and um, Vertex also has a collaboration with CRISPR therapeutics. So overall, Vertex has got its finger on all the T1D and T2D uh, therapies. So uh, it, it makes sense to cover Vertex, and maybe we should look closer at Vertex. That said, let's get started. <music> Welcome back friends. Last Friday at the 2023 American Diabetes Association uh, 83rd Scientific Sessions Conference, Vertex Pharmaceuticals released their one-year follow-up data for their VX880 therapy for type 1 diabetes, which is in a phase 1 of 2 clinical trial. And FDA has designated it as an investigational stem cell-based therapy. At ADA2023, Vertex presented data from six patients enrolled in the phase one of two study following VX880 treatment. All the patients showed better glycemic control, better time in range, and signs of uh, endogenous insulin secretion, and a notable uh, reduction in or complete elimination of the need for external insulin intervention. Two of those patients with type 1 diabetes no longer needed insulin injections. And friends, this uh, to me seems to be a very, very powerful result. And I can't expect anything less going forward to the next phase uh, than to see approval for this particular therapy. Uh, because these um, uh, initial test results have been spectacular. Not only that, but also both patients uh, uh, attained the study's designated uh, primary endpoint without any serious hypoglycemic uh, events, uh, while um, also demonstrating strong reduction in HbA1c one year after receiving VX880. Of the two patients, one patient achieved an HbA1c level of 5.3% at 21 months, down from a baseline value of around 8.6%. The other percent had a 6% HbA1c at 12 months as compared with 7.6% at baseline. So friends, what we are talking about here uh, is the predetermined endpoint has been attained by these two patients over and above uh, being free of, uh, be, uh, one of them being free of uh, needing to have any external insulin support at all for almost a year. So this is really excellent uh, uh, excellent results. And for um, lay people like us, the way we have to understand endpoint is that endpoint is the objective that a clinical trial phase um, uh, wishes to demonstrate or prove. So the endpoint could be surrogate endpoints or it could be direct endpoints. Surrogate endpoints, for example, in order uh, for you to prove that someone uh, doesn't have uh, uh, diabetes. Uh, you may want to show that their blood test results uh, show that their sugar is under control and, uh, and within the acceptable range for a period of time. However, if you were to uh, look at um, uh, some enzymes uh, which uh, are a precursor for a diabetic condition and saying that the absence of that enzyme uh, shows that your therapy is succeeding, that is a surrogate endpoint. So generally, FDA allows for surro surrogate endpoints to be acceptable in case of really hard to treat diseases where there is no existing therapy and the patients are suffering. Uh, so uh, FDA can accept that. But in uh, other cases, it looks for a direct endpoint. And in this case, uh, the direct endpoint has also been demonstrated successfully 
by uh, uh, by vertex uh, for uh, for this therapy that's the way i understand it and um, uh, to me it seems great and continuous glucose monitoring for these patients also showed that both patients spent 95% of the time within the target range of uh, blood glucose levels and the american diabetes association recommends at least a 70% time in range for type 1 diabetes patients so even in this count uh, it has outperformed by 25% over and above what the american diabetes association recommends for type 1 diabetes patients felicia pagliuca vertex uh, uh, disease uh, area executive for type 1 diabetes said in a statement that these data represent a foundational advance in the potential treatment for type 1 diabetes bringing us one step closer to a potentially curative therapy for patients who are waiting for a cure for type 1 diabetes vx880 is an allogenic stem cell therapy that delivers fully differentiated and insulin pro producing islet cells to uh, restore the body's glucose responsive capabilities to produce insulin and in turn improve glucose regulation the investigational therapy is infused uh, through the hepatic portal vein and requires recipients to be on immunosuppressive treatments so that it can succeed side effects of vx880 treatment were uh, mostly mild to moderate in uh, severity and consisted primarily of uh, dehydration uh, rashes uh, hypomagnesemia and diarrhea those were the side effects there were no treatment related serious adverse effect any uh, in any of those patients uh, however one patient developed a, uh, a perioperative severe hypoglycemic uh, event and um, uh, that that stood out in the uh, study but overall um, in terms of um, uh, success rate i think it's been phenomenal and the path has not been uh, smooth for vertex uh, if you recollect earlier in may 2022 vertex faced a setback when fda placed vx 880's clinical development program under clinical hold uh, because uh, the regulator found that there was insufficient uh, information to support dose escalation with the product however in response to the pause vertex's cmo that is chief medical uh, officer carmen bozik pointed to early data that showed that vx880 can restore glucose regulated insulin production and improve um, glycemic control and touting the achievements of insulin independence by the first patient as a landmark milestone he was able to convince the fda in a matter of around 2 months because 2 months later in july 2022 the fda lifted the clinical hold uh, allowing vertex to push through with uh, its phase 1 uh, of 2 study and vertex took over via site in the meantime which was also working in the diabetes arena the crispr therapeutics viaset alliance now comes into the vertex uh, family apart from this vertex has a collaboration with crispr therapeutics overall if we look at the current state of play in the us there has been a lot of political heat on insulin prices if a range of uh, once and done gene therapies emerge for type 1 di diabetes and type 2 diabetes the government will be more than happy to subsidize such treatments because an average of $2500 is spent per year just on insulin per patient and then there are the other costs like lost productivity and diabetes related complications which can be heart complications kidney complications uh, eyesight complications and septic and various other things that can happen and all those things can cost a lot more in the lifetime of a diabetic patient but please uh, uh, rest assured that with uh, every advance in uh, genomics every advance in ai uh, capability uh, deployed on to searching for genetic uh, solutions to various diseases uh, i think we are marching a step closer towards uh, treating uh, 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 treating the root cause rather than the symptom and more or less we are soon going to have the blueprint of the uh, human uh, human body and uh, in in which case we are going to be able to pinpoint the repairs all we need is the delivery mechanism and the uh, proper editing mechanism to edit those dnas and uh, we should be able to cure most of the diseases so that's what uh, i think we are marching towards please let me know if you have uh, vertex in your portfolio 
and uh, what you think about the company and uh, that that will be very helpful for me because as friends as i told you before i'm also a fellow investor like yourself and uh, your knowledge also helps me a lot so please do not hesitate to put your uh, uh, opinions in the comment section uh, it's uh, much appreciated so with that my friends i'd like to bring this video to an end and that's all for now i'll catch up with you again bye for now